What sort of exercises should someone who is in that perimenopause, menopause stage be doing kind of like in the heavy weights area? I like women to focus on compound movements. So yeah. our typical squats or deadlifts or hip thrusts or Bulgarian split squats. Um, a lot of the doing. post. Yeah, they're painful, <laughs> but good. Well, you know, it would seem all right at the time. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and then you try to walk the next day. You're yes, like, exactly. oh, <laughs> what happened? Yeah. We, by the nature of our biomechanics, are more quad dominant. So I mm. really try to get women to really focus on the posterior because it's going to help align our bodies, give us better posture, take the load off the knees and the hips when we can have better alignment. Um, and then also the push pull. So if we're thinking about uh, bent over rows and bench press or overhead mm. press, all of them are compound movements because we're also looking at the stability action. So we have to really use our deep abdominal and our back muscles for that stability. So if you're thinking about a deadlift and you're doing a heavy deadlift, it's a total body movement and it's a mental challenge to lift something heavy. So you're actually engaging central nervous system as well as all the muscles that are stabilizing. And when you're doing a heavy compound movement session, when you finish, you feel fatigued, but you don't feel wasted. Like mm. we have been led to believe. Yeah. Like in cardio, cardio sometimes. Hit, yeah. Mm. Yeah. And what do you think of like pull-ups and things like that? Oh, they're great when we're looking at accessories because it's a functionality thing too, right? If you're able to pull your body weight up and lower slowly and it's creating more proprioception and it's also creating more um, conversation around the core of mm. being offloaded from the feet but up through the upper body. Yeah. So it's a, it's a, it's a really good opportunity to have more functionality in your movement when you're looking at, can I do pull-ups? Can I do push-ups? Yeah. Those are all great things to add. Yeah. I'm currently doing it with a band, but my aim is to get there, you know, and it takes time as all these things do. But something that I heard you say as well, which I found so fascinating is that for women, it's these sort of exercise that actually help with our abs and getting mm -hmm. ab muscles um, if that's what people are after, rather than with a lot of men when they're doing those kind of standard ab exercises, like, you know, sit-ups and that kind of thing. This, those exercises you just spoke about for gaining muscle actually help with abs too. Absolutely. And that's what I mean by the stabilization of the core. Yeah. So you don't have to think about doing sit-ups or, because I look at that as like the top of the box where we're looking at how are we using the floor of the box and sides to actually build a base. And that's what compound movements do. It's in, it's really using all of those muscles for stabilization. And I tell women, you want to be like a bamboo straw, not like a bendy one. Because if you're a bendy straw, this is how we end up with injuries because we're not able to brace properly. And if we're able to brace in our strength training, then we can also get into better breathing habits and, and breathing patterns, which then feeds forward to better parasympathetic activation if we're able to control our breathing and get a little bit of breath work in as well. So there's lots of things that go into lifting and it's mm. not just, let's see how much I can put on this bar to lift as a deadlift. There's so many other things that happen with a compound movement that don't get discussed, but we are now. So that's great. Yeah. And it's I will tell you yeah. that it took me 11 years to do one pull up. Well, but th no, thank you for letting me know that Stacey, because my 12 year old son, he started gym the other day, like a couple of months ago and literally after three weeks he was doing a, like a pull-up, you know, full proper, never had done PT in his life. Mm -hmm. So why can he do it so easily? And there's mum with the band, <laughs> you know, yeah. he's done PT for years, still struggling. Yeah. Our center of gravity is lower than okay. men's and boys. So we have the uh, auspiciousness of having a lower center of gravity that we have to pull. And uh, we also have a relatively lower absolute strength in the upper body than men uh. and boys. So it does take us a little bit more. And we also have more endurance fibers. So we don't have a lot of the fast twitch. And when you first start a movement like pull up, you need more of the fast twitch to actually get the pull mm. and activate. And then as you develop more overall neuromuscular strength, then your endurance fibers can come into play.
Wow, that's so fascinating and it makes me feel a bit better. So thank you. You're I want to 